In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can create a OneNote assignment in a Microsoft Teams class team. So this is a year seven class team, as you can see. And in this view, we can see that we have access to our class notebook at the top. Underneath that, we have assignments. And this is where assignments specific to this team will be found. And in a moment, I'll go ahead and click the Create button. First of all, I'm going to take you into the notebook that has the assignment page. So when you are assigning an assignment, which is a OneNote page, you can only assign a single page. So it can't be a group of pages, it can only be one single page. But as we know, we can structure and compose these pages to be quite complex, to have lots of response spaces, tips, and cues that students can follow. So this is a typical worksheet for me in OneNote where I do like to provide lots of tips for writing, prompts for writing, and I tend to do that right in the response space area for students, especially with younger students uh, in Year 7 in this case. Obviously our older students won't need prompts of this level, but this is just the example that I'm showing you in this video today. So that's the page and the key point I'm trying to make here is that you need to have the page ready to go. You can't make the page after you create the assignment. So this must be done and checked and proofed first if you're going to be using this. So let's now go ahead. We'll go back into Teams. And in here, I'm in the class where the assignment will be set. I'm in the assignments area and now I'm going to click create. It will be an assignment. And I'm going to match the title exactly as it appears in the OneNote page. Howard Arkley Critique. You have a short response space with some options to add basic markup and including links to websites or other resources, libguides for example. You can also attach a formal task sheet if you wish um, to this space. But for me, I'm just going to say, please click the OneNote link below. I'm saying below because when you see the final version of this, it will make sense. Now in terms of points and rubrics, if you wish to, you can assign points, but that will be number based. Or you can drill down and you can work with actual rubrics where you can apply A to E scales but I'll be issuing grades outside of the Teams assignment module. So I'll just hit cancel. Now here I can assign it to all students in this class. I can, if I wish to, just make this assignment specific to individual students. So there is the opportunity for you to differentiate and to create additional or alternative assignments for students as you see fit. And you can also group students together where they work collaboratively on the one document. In this case, I am giving it to all students. This little edit link here is very important. In case a student does come into your subject after this is issued, you want them to see this assignment appear in their dashboard. So I always go in here and I change this to assign. Therefore, new students catch the task as well. The due date is going to be, I'll give them a few weeks to do it, we'll do until Friday the 19th of August, and the time I'll work within school hours and we'll go down and choose 3 p.m. Now as we go down to the final settings for this assignment, it's very important that you do assign the date to students' calendars. It's quite useful because it pops up in their Outlook feed and since they're in email so much, this is a great way to remind them when tasks are due. If you have other channels in your team space, you can make this assignment notification appear there as well. But I tend to keep things pretty simple with my year sevens and I just have a general channel. Receiving notifications for late turn-ins, the default is no. But importantly, we do have the ability to do some simple authenticity checks in Teams. Now this is not the Feedback Studio version of Turnitin. It's a simple originality checker and it will check against anything that's been submitted to Turnitin over time and it will 
report back on any matches that are found. And yes, this does work on a OneNote page, so it's quite useful. So the next thing we have to do is to attach the OneNote page to the assignment. So we go in to attach here, and you can see we've got a few options. The second one is class notebook. And in the teacher only space, in the Teams assignments area that I've created, we will see the Howard Arkley critique assignment page. So I'll click on that and I'll go attach. And we can see here that we are choosing where in students notebooks we are going to be placing this page so that students can edit their own copy. So there's only one section, the assigned work, and I'll click done. So there we go. We can see that we have attached the assignment page in there. We've already checked our details and what we can now do is go ahead and either save this assignment and issue it at a later time or we can assign it so that it immediately goes out to students and that's what I'll do now. I'll click assign. And if I click into it, this is the teacher dashboard and to see what students see, we'll go to these three dots and we'll go to student view. And as I was saying before, this is what I meant about the OneNote link appearing below so that when students see this assignment page, there's some brief instructions here. They go straight down to here and they click on the link. It takes them to their version of the assignment page that they can go ahead and complete themselves. I'll close that. Now, as the students are working on the task, you can check in on their progress at any time just by clicking on the purple links here. So if I want to see how this student's going, this takes me straight to Nicholas's page and we can use this drop down arrow to see other students work at any time. In another video, we'll look at how we uh, return this work to students and some of the great features that sit in this feedback panel. But for now, that's how you can issue a OneNote page as a Teams assignment.